Okay, a few minutes ago you referenced the law director. As you know, uh, there are some the citizens of North Canton uh, that are not real wild about the uh, law director. And of course you were not on council when Mr. Fox was appointed law director. Correct. Your assessment of uh, law director Fox, are the criticism merited or unmerited? Well, all I can speak on is what my personal experience is. Right, that's all I want. So, so for as a council person. As, as a council person, well, because I didn't have any interaction with them before that. No, no, right. All, before I was a council person, I saw what everybody else said. I'd read the newspaper, I would think, what's going on at city council? Because I'd read these crazy articles, and I'm like, if they're that bad, maybe they all need to be thrown out. But the point is, is that I can tell you about uh, Law Director Fox. He's an attorney. He's not, so, so there's legal and practical. He's always legal. He's always follows the letter of the law. The guy is available. From, from his perspective, being, from, right. having a legal You're background a myself, uh, believe me, I understand uh, 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 the perspective. And it's not as if people who are attorneys are God Almighty. They're not. They I just, agree. They're humans, just like right. us. That's right. what I was telling you, that we're all humans. We all right. make mistakes. Right. Okay. All I can tell you is, when I didn't understand Main Street Business District or about the cell tower issue, I wanted to have more clarity. I asked his opinion on it just to get me clarity so once I take the information and filter it through, I can make an informed decision. That's all I'm here to do. And I call him at 10 o'clock at night, he answers his phone. He came in Sunday for two hours. He meets me at eight in the morning. Whenever I have questions or concerns. So Law Director Fox, in my opinion, is an awesome attorney. He earns his money and he's good for the city. Now, there's the practical. The practical is, is yes, you know, you have to use a little finesse and you have to be kind and gentle. Well, like I said, some of the activists just beat him to death, beat him to death, and he's not a robot. I'm not a robot. You know, our feelings, we have feelings, we're trying to stay neutral and right on. But unfortunately, if you beat someone like a beekeeper with a stick, you're gonna end up getting stung. And the thing is, is that Tim is a good guy. He means well. Is he perfect? No, I don't think anybody's perfect. But he's doing what he needs to do for the city, is give us advice. Now, if I choose not to follow the advice, then shame on me. Okay, well let me uh, pause you there. Is North Canton government by the mayor of North Canton and North Canton City Council, or is it government by law director Tim Fox? I, I read those, uh, those comments, but right. no, it's the council runs the show. Okay, and, and your and council's in charge the con and, because the law director's an employee. That's right, he um, works council. for us, right. he works for us. And Tim knows, now once in a while we might have to say, hey, Tim, just, you know, some people, like I find these attorneys, they go a little bit deeper into the subject. Whereas maybe we just want it, give us the quick synopsis version. And sometimes they'll go on and on. But that's probably the only thing I could criticize them on is maybe short, succinct, and to the point. But like I said, you can't have everything. Okay, he does so, a good uh, job. He does a good job. The council runs the show. He works for us. He's to try to keep us out of trouble and give us advice if, we're mis if we make a mistake or we're not sure on something. That's where we go to him for. And he does a fine job. Okay. Uh